and welcome to the UKU University Mixed Indoor Nationals Final. Very exciting game we have. It's a repeat of the Scottish Regional Final, in fact. We have Glasgow in yellow versus Edinburgh in green. This goes up. Upside down backhand. Edinburgh looking up forward quickly. Hadgood finds Rogers. Rogers now looking forward. And a pit call instantly. It was the uh, thing that no one wanted to predict, but a lot of people did, an all Scottish final. Rogers not getting panicked, finding half good. Moving it inside. Tate on the disc, looks forward, finds Rogers again. Tate, three of her women. Rogers not wanting to be second, trying to take the inside swing. That is good for picking up for Glasgow and another misconnection. Excellent by Robinson. These teams have better take advantage of the opposition's misconnections now because these two teams are clinical when they get running. If you can get a couple turns now, it makes all the difference later on. Hadgood picking up. Looking forward. The scuba. Stafford turns down with it. Edinburgh won. Glasgow won. The gender end zone appears to be the farthest end zone from us. Glasgow to single in three men. Both of these two teams took an over a lot of mixed order. Because Glasgow has the ultimate focus. As such, we expect some very good mixed players. Lockwood Fisher takes the pull. And it's a very bladey shot. Finds its way outside of the two meter box around the end zone. It's ending up in the end zone. And so they're starting from a difficult position. Looks like an ISO play in Glasgow starting here. Moving it into the middle. Finlay looking up. Finds Derry. Swings inside. Finds Finlay. And again. Now taking that ISO shot. It needs to be seen. <laughs> Alex Ford goes flying on defense. What a response from Glasgow. Edinburgh went up. There was a couple of misconnections in that first point, second point, none of that. Glasgow stuck in the back after the good call from Lachlan Fisher. Moving the disc up, taking it in. And then you can pull landing squarely in the end zone there. Edinburgh starting in a difficult position but able to move it out nicely. Rogers on the disc now. Looks up. Finds Stafford. Stafford looking forward now. A little bit of miscommunication. Two, two stuck at the same point. Joe Pennington was able to be the bailout. You don't want to be taking those risky options this early on. Pennington provided the option. Push pass from Ben and take to the end zone line there to second. Push line. Don't say pass. Don't have to drop it. What can we find out? At this high level, you're going to be stuck at the battle of the end zone unless you manage to get that block on it. Glasgow 2. Big play. Joel Terry lays out. He's doing it for the cameras. He's doing it for his team. What a crap! You've got to say that currently the only thing that can stop the Glasgow offense is Glasgow themselves. They're taking a few more slightly low percentage of No, that's unfair to say. Awesome. They're taking some options, some bigger options. And as such, Edinburgh aren't coming anywhere near. If Glasgow can keep executing those throughout the entire game, it's going to be good. Edinburgh looking a little bit more uncertain on their own. Again, right to the end zone. We're not getting close to any pit calls now. Pennington looking upfield. Getting a little bit stuck. Makes an inside backhand. Tight happening. There's a guy in the
Regel Tor für Jens. Ich kann nur sagen, die Expertise und Qualität da. Und wie ihr könnt sehen, meinst du, die Gap 3, even when there's a big three Glasgow players in the end zone, doesn't matter. She got free. Go get him, baby! Go get him! Yeah, we did get a little bit stuck there, but they weren't able to rely on the bailout option as Lachlan takes another pull. Lachlan. A new uh, signing for Edinburgh this year from St Andrews. I think Edinburgh perfectly happy with that deal. This goes forward now. Terry on the disc. <laughs> Johnny Morosso in the end zone upfield. Again, that's Terry upstairs, big place to Terry. I'm never going to take big place to anyone else. Else's. Let's keep an eye out for that from now on. Finley on the disc. The hammer shot goes up. Campbell comes down with it. Finds Finley. of the hammers that were thrown that point. And there's quite a few to pick from. You can order them however you want. I think that one was the uh, easiest grab at the end. And that was the end zone one. We had a really fun game on our hands here. And we're signaling three women on the line. Through there, Genzo. Finlay takes the pull. Habgood takes it early. We don't want to be stuck in the back of the end zone again. Again, a little bit pressures, but Rogers provides an easy out. Finds Pennington behind her. Going on a high stool count, what can he do? He can find Balote, that's what he can do. She finds Habgood. You've got Habgood and Tate behind you, you uh, that's where you want to put your bear on option. Rogers. Through the force. I think that was a great. I think that was just through where the force was stacked. Excellent work there. Stafford on the disc now. A little bit high, but this had good aim by an easy option. Yinkin providing a lot of pressure on defense there, but Pennington able to take it down. So a reminder, this is the final game of the weekend. The 1v2, the game for glory. Both these two teams have had to beat a lot of other strong sides to get here. This is the product of two days of learning each other as a team, developing those shots, and getting going. Better take, take the simple shot back to Chris Hadwick. Hadwick, find Stafford. Stafford, looking forward. Well, just needing something. Really sensed a little bit of a defense there for Glasgow, wasn't able to take it. Big scooter face in Pennington, not going. That is going inside. Stafford wanting to move the disc forward. Bio backhand inside. Lovely shot, Hadgood to the end. He's getting your second to the final. We've seen some big dibs from Alan Hadgood. If anyone's going to get that turn, he's going to be one of them. Full reminder after all that excitement. That was an offensive point. There were no turns in that point. That was just them working their way forward, getting close, taking it back, realizing when's the ideal time to take this shot. You want to see the strength of these two teams. Don't look at the big plays. Look at just how many passes they're able to take and look at how many risky ones they have to. There's a few big breaks being taken, but they're not really being taken because they're forced. They're taken because they're huge gainers, which get you off the field. Joel Terry taking his training top off. I can actually see his number, but that beard kind of helps him up anyway, so I'm fine on this end. Three man big signal. Through the hands of the Glasgow player. Quite fortunate that I didn't hit him in the face, actually. That was quite close. This is what Glasgow wanted to avoid. They know Edinburgh have some vicious pulls. 
So they take the shot instantly. Move upfield. Joel Terry looks for Pennington on the disc. If you want the score, they've been training the entire game. Finds Habgood. And it's dropped. This could be huge for Glasgow. Can they take the break and go up for the first time in the game? Swings it back. Around play, takes the goal. for this Glasgow side there. Uh, Doug Fraser getting up big from the shot from Alan Lincoln. Signaling three men. Glasgow managed to take the regional final by two. Edinburgh not going to want a repeat of that. Very difficult to stop breaks with someone like Habgood. Kind of tempting when you have someone like Nelly Helzer with so much space there in the end zone. They managed to hold off though. And a pick call on field. Back to Hamgood. Fisher having to return to his place by Yunkin. And a semi bid there by Lachlan Fisher. Didn't need to be a full bid. Takes the inside swing to Stafford. Stafford puts inside. And Helzer just swung it straight back to Stafford. Back to Helzer. These two. Perfectly had to pass it back and forth all day as Hadgood gets it. Fine Fisher. Oh, it looks for Wrenski. The smallest touch makes it bobble and that pushes it out of his hands. Glasgow here looking for another break. They set up in an ISO play. Their three male handlers, their three male players, the two handlers and the ISO shot, looking to weave it between them. Stafford, poaching a bit for Edinburgh. Not able to find it, Glasgow. Now at the point where the ISO is breaking down, having to look upfield, look for that fourth shot. Looks inside, finds Doug Fraser. Doug Fraser finds Sam Finley. Looks inside again, finds Kimberly Marsh. Finley, on this now. Find Jacob, so close to the end zone here for Glasgow. Yes, 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 yes. Just the touch of the hands of Sophia as well. Glasgow excited and rightly so. There's two breaks in a row they've got there. Edinburgh taking it right from the back. They're stuck. Alex Boyd's gone long. Not found. Joel Terry with the interception. Sam Finley. Joel Terry. Going back now. Glasgow taking a second to calm themselves. There is the end zone shot. They're taking their time. 
not trying to force it. And that's a lovely connection there. Marina Alassan looking to Jay Singh. Very Carlos. The very quick connections there between some of the Glasgow players. Instead, stopped it, calmed down, scored in a simple fashion with just backhand on the open side. Edinburgh need a response. What can they do? And the quick inquiries of the it was a catch attempt. Very satisfied though. And look inside. I believe that was Stavard to Helder. Edinburgh finally get that point they needed. Stopping the Glasgow roll. One thing to stop a roll, it's another star one of your own. What can Edinburgh do here? We can single three women and rely on the strength of some very strong players. Hannah Rogers, Bella Tate, and Kate Stafford. Looking upfield now, Lachlan Fisher taking the big one. It's time to raise up to those balls now. Stopping them early, looking inside. Ian Campbell taking a simple shot. Kimberly Marsh takes it high, looks upfield. A little bit of a high still count, still count six there. Ian Campbell's running the option. Contact on the arm there from Bella Tate. No discussion, so appears no contest. Kimberly Marsh will retain it on still count zero. Backhand to find the space. Sam Finley, Lockwood Fisher, just a little bit too close, not able to stop in time. A bit of too much body contact. Sam Finley takes some time just to tell him that. Probably also taking some time to steady himself here. Hammer goes up big. And it bounces out of the hands of Sophia Morosva. Edinburgh. This is exactly what they needed. Another chance to reply. Way to look long. Bella Tate takes it. Glasgow, sensing weakness, took themselves up, got three points in a row. Edinburgh finally able to convert their own offense and now get the break. Really exciting stuff there. In the circle, they're just going to be talking about how everyone is needing to play their part in this. Both teams have such depth in all their squads. Putting it deep, rather than the typical bladey thing we've been using, just floaty. Does its job, Glasgow at the back of the end zone. Still not able to find their way out of it. Glasgow playing through the concept. Able to take the goal. Just open side shots, wanting the break, but it isn't on. There we go, Sam Finley now with the disc. Lefty scooper? I'm going to go lefty scooper. Really nice, fun stuff to the end zone. Glasgow stopped the end of the roll. Lachlan Fisher takes it on the catch. You know what I mean. 
Chris Hadgett now, looking upfield. Now we can find Hannah Rogers behind him. Hannah puts it up. Trying to put in space in front of Bella Tate, but not quite working. Glasgow looking for another response here. Adam Newton with the pickup. Scuba backwards. Taken down currently by Marina Alarsen. Let me try it again. Last one, this. Oh, lovely grab there from Jason. Not that much spin to catch on that disc, but she managed to do it anyway. Doug Fraser looking upfield and stays to go back to Anna Larson. Excellent choice there. Because so she's been strong this, for this game. Chen, wanting a bailout option. Chris Hadgood takes it, looks upfield. Takes it instantly, looks for Kate Stafford and gets the quick response. It's just an offensive hold, but it means the world to Edinburgh right now because it means they're still in this game. on this line, get that turn. Well, one point it becomes not only just about you know, not just about getting up, just about staying in the game. As Chris Hadgood takes a lovely inside backhand to Kate Stafford, puts back to Bellatay, finds Joe Pennington in the end zone, and will respond with some lovely overheads at the road. Wind up, pause, scuba. <laughs> Lachlan Fisher takes another big pull, but Sam Finley gains the yards quickly. Look inside, Kimberly Marsh now, on this. Looking upfield, getting a little bit stuck. Trying to but... Yeah, Glasgow! doing the work they need to do. Getting Glasgow to those high school bounds. Glasgow, though, so strong, able to find those options and react so quickly to anything they need to. Best to not know what happens if you actually finish that score. I know what happens outdoors, but I don't know what happens if you can't make that count. Yeah. A zone here, looking to see how they're going to play. Chris Hadgood getting a little bit panicked, tries the uh, scuba. Chris Hadgood going flying there, trying to make it up to his team. Not able to. Glasgow putting in that goal. Nice to celebrate, they know what that means. They're three up, no one to go. Two men being signaled. It's kind of odd that a zone meant to slow teams down can be what forces them to make the error. Because I've been a little bit of a slide to stop the disc there. Taking it forward. Again, Glasgow zone. Scuba over the top. Lachlan Fisher takes it under pressure from Sam Finley. Finds Chris Habgood. Play to the end. Lachlan Fisher takes it. And that is game. Glasgow able to hold themselves, show their strength, and come away as I think we would have to say deserve it. University mixed indoor national champions. Very well done. And very well done to both teams. 
Lovely athletic plays, lovely mix and lovely spirit from both throughout.